Hello there again. For this video, I'll walk you through implementing a double link list. And here is where things start to get super interesting. Before we start, it is really important if you already watched the previous video on single link list implementation, we will not duplicate work here, but extend work done there. If you already watched it, let's get to it. Looking at the link list class, I see a couple of things we need to change. The create node, the insert, push and remove methods. And I will also add a reverse method to the double link list for this implementation. I'll create my class and extend the link list class and double link list also have a tail since you can move in two directions. And speaking of two directions, we change the create node method to now include the prev property as well, since all nodes must have an X and a previous pointer. Now to the second method override, the push method. This method adds new node to the end of the list. So the only changes we need to do is make the new last node to point to the previous node. And I also need to set the new node as the new tail. Now I can instantiate my double link list and call print on it, push some numbers and notice the first one have both next and pref as null. And as I add new nodes, the next and pref pointers gets updated. The first node points back to null and the last node points up to null, obviously. Now to the insert method, and we need to do a few changes. So I'll get rid of the current for now, and if I'm inserting at the beginning of the list, I still need to set a new node as the head, but if there is a head, meaning the list is not empty, I need to set the new node point to what was the previous node, since it is now the new head, and I'll make the previous node pref to point to the new node. Else, if there is no head, meaning the list is empty, I'll also set the new node as the tail. I'll also need to handle if we are trying to insert a node at the end. So I'll first set the current tail node point to the new node, then make the new node point back to the current tail node, and then I'll make the new node tail node. Finally, we will handle cases where node is being inserted anywhere other than the start or end. So I'll get the node where I want to insert the new node as current. Next, I'll store the previous node and I'm trying to insert a node in between the previous and the current node. So I'll point the previous up to the new node and the current node back to the new node. And now I need to make the new node point back to them as well. So prev will point to previous node and next will point to the current node. Everything else stays the same. So size is incremented and I return true. Now let's test it. So I'll insert zero at the start. So zero comes before 10 and 10 points back to zero. Then I'll add 25 after 20 and finally set 100 as the tail node using the list size. Now for the final override, the remove method. So for when the first node is being removed, I still want to make the next node as the new node. But if the size is one, meaning the list only has one node and it is the node being removed, I'll make the tail null as well. The head will also be null since it was not pointing to anything. Else, if the list has more than one items, I'll make the head point back to null. That is because we are making the second node as the first, which means it was pointing to the first node, which we are removing. So we need to make the point to nothing. Now, if the last node is being removed, in this case, the removed node is the tail and the new tail is the previous node. The new tail is the previous node, and we also need to make the new tail point to nothing. Finally, if node being removed is not at the head or the tail node, the remove node is, that, is the one at that index. So I'll store the previous and the next node, and the way to remove the node is to make the previous and the next node point to each other. So previous point up to the next, and next points back to the previous. Everything else stays the same. Size is decremented and remove node returned. Now I want to remove nodes that we inserted. So I remove the head node at index zero, remove 25 and at position two, and finally the tail node using the list size minus one. Now for the treat, I want to reverse the list since we have the next and previous pointers. And it's pretty much like these soldiers on this video. We will swap the pointer of each node. So first I collect the head as current and then set tail as head and head as tail. Then we loop and collect the previous and next node and make the current node points up the previous and back the next node. Then we set the current node and the next node to continue going to the end. 
Now let's try this. So I'll two string the list first. Then I just call reverse and note that I have 50 back to 10 and I can do this all day back and forward. Super, super fun stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and for the next video, I want to show you a circular linked list and eventually how to sort all this. Check the link below and let's continue to have fun with this implementation. Thanks for watching and catch you there. Bye bye.